Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to perform CRUD operation using an Angular REST service call. As per the screenshot, you can see we saved many records, like save we will perform an update and delete operations as well. As per the last video, we added get service call related changes. So when you click on show list menu it is calling get request with the help of HTTP client. See it is working. Even in mobile also UI is showing pretty well. Like I said in the last video we will add code for edit and delete. Let's start, open book service class. Like a get request call, let's add get by id, post and delete methods also. It is very simple, let's copy this method and add the required changes. So here you can see we are fetching all books but now we want only one book. Change method name from get books to get book. We need book id also, add this as a function parameter change book array to just book now along with url append book id as well that's it see it is simple now let's copy and modify this for a delete request call change method name to delete book and an observable change book to any so it can hold any kind of response change get to delete see it is simple now let's create a method for save book so here method parameter must be book object, and for observable also book means at the end it will return saved the object. Add HTTP related code. Here we will call post method. That's it for this class. See it is very simple. Now let's open book component. See here we already created save book method, but we were not doing anything just printing book object. Now let's see how to save this book object to the database. Import book service class. Add same in the constructor. Now let's call save book method of book service. Pass book object as a parameter. For save, we are publishing book object, so we need to subscribe in component, same way as we did to get books. Add one more console log to print save book title with some message. Now, after save, we want to navigate to book list page. So, for that, we need to add some root related code. Let's import router. Add this in constructor also. Now with the help of this router, we will navigate to show list page. See it is very simple. Now let's open the readme file. Let's save this JSON data to the database using the save book method. Add book information. Before click on save let's open console. Now let's click on save. See it is working fine. Book saved successfully and navigate it to book list page and see now two records are showing. Let's change the view from the web to mobile. See here also it is showing properly. Post request call is completed.
Now let's add logic for the edit so when we click on edit icon it should open back to add page and it must auto fill book related value. So let's open book list component html file. Let's add router link so here link is like edit and then book id. The same thing add for mobile also. Now we added router link so we need to add one more path in app routing module. Let's open app routing module. See here we need to add, add one more path for edit. So in case of edit also it should consider book component. Now let's modify code in book component. So mainly we need to modify code which is an ng on init method. But before that, we need to import activated root also, this is a part of router only, add same in constructor also. Now let's add required code. Now how to read id from the url which comes after edit. That we can read with the help of root snapshot param map get method. See with the help of this line we can read the id value. Now add a condition like if the id is not zero then it should call get book method of book service otherwise initialize book object with a default value. Here we need to subscribe book object. See it is very simple. Let's check edit is working or not. See it is working, URL also modified. Now let's add some other simple things like card heading should change like when we are creating new book then add a new book or when we are editing then it should show update book. And the same thing for save button also. But before that add one simple change like instead of keeping everything in ng on init, let's create a new method and call that method from ng on init. Now let's open book component html file. Let's add our changes. Add a condition like if book id is 0 then show add new book otherwise it will show update book. See it is simple. See now it is perfect. Now change save button text also. Here we can do using the ternary operator. See it is changing save button text also. Change this reset button also so if we are adding new book then reset should show otherwise show list button. See now show list button is showing in case of edit. It should be a link instead of a button. See it is working now.
Now let's change the price and click on update. Let's see an update is happening or not. See it is working. Now let's add a delete functionality. Add click event for delete and on click let's call delete book function. Pass book as a parameter. Add the same for mobile also. Open book list component class. Now let's create delete book method. Before delete it should ask for confirmation so we'll add some message and confirm method. Now let's add delete book method call. Here it is publishing any so I am using response you can use anything. The response I am putting in alert. And after delete just call get books method. Add confirmation message also. That's it. Let's try delete is happening or not. See it is working. See I added 6 more books. Let's test everything in one slot. See everything is working fine. Let's review whatever we added. Let's perform the same thing from mobile view. See here also everything is working fine. I checked in my changes, I will show you from where you can find these. See here are the changes.
That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.